Hello munchkins. Welcome back to Reading for a Purpose with Miss Sylvia. It's been a while and I have missed our sharing time of reading together and learning together. But I am back and I am looking forward to all the reading journeys that we'll be sharing together where we can learn and grow and share the knowledge that we learn with others. So today's reading story is God is My Best Friend. Story by Beverly Caps Burgess. Illustrations by Elizabeth Linder. Isn't that so amazing to know that God can be our best friend if we ask him to be? He's my best friend. And after we read this story together, I hope you will go around and tell everybody you meet that God, the Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and Abba Father is your best friend as well. Let's get started. God is my best friend. This book is dedicated to my wonderful husband, Bill, who has helped all three of our children discover that God is their best friend. When my mom is too busy to listen and my dad has gone out fishing, I still have someone to talk to because God is my best friend. The Lord is thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Joshua 1 9. When my little brother acts like a brat and runs away with my best ball and bat, I don't yell and shout. I just love him and remember that God is my best friend. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. John 15, 12. When someone at school wants me to cheat or tell a lie about my cousin Pete, I choose to do right and not wrong. God always does right, and he is my best friend. Thou shalt not bear false witness, Exodus twenty sixteen. When I'm just too tired to pick up the toys in my room, and my mom says to pick them up and to do it soon, I don't get mad, cry, or pout, because God is my strength as well as my best friend. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Philippians 4.13 When I go to the grocery store with my mom and she won't buy me that big pack of gum. I don't cry a lot of tears. I just remember my best friend who lives in here. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Ephesians 6, 1. When I meet someone who seems big and mean, I don't get scared, run away, or scream. I let my light shine because that boy needs to know my best friend. You are the light of the world, Matthew 5, 14. When my parents give me offering money to give at church, and I am tempted to hide it away in the pocket of my shirt. I don't listen to what the devil says. I am giving unto God and he is my best friend. Give and it shall be given unto you. Luke 6, 38. When I break my mother's favorite flower vase and she asks me who did it face to face I tell her it was me and believe God for mercy because 
he is my best friend. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Proverbs 3, 4. When dad says, I have to eat something I really don't like, but I would rather be outside flying my kite. I don't get upset and complain. The Bible says Jesus bore all my pain and he is my best friend. Himself, Jesus, took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Matthew 8, 17. When I get in trouble for putting my feet on the couch and I am beginning to feel like a great big grouch, I don't give in to feelings that are wrong. I talk to my best friend and he makes me strong. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Psalm 19, 14. I am so glad that I met my best friend and that his son, Jesus, died for my sins. Now my life is so much more fun and I am learning to do what God wants done. It is Christ that died, yea rather that is risen again. Romans 8 34. You see, if I learn to be obedient to God when I am small, the devil doesn't stand any chance at all. I will be obedient the rest of my life because God is my best friend. Oh, sorry, page is stuck. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 23, 6. And the last page here is a letter from the author to us readers. So let's see what she wants to tell us. Dear friend, as a believer and a responsible parent, it is so important that you fill your children with God's word. The goal of this book is to engraft the word of God into children by applying the word to different situa situations which they might encounter. Your children will be able to see by example how to apply the word in their lives. The scripture references on each page help you to relate the story and illustrations to the biblical principles you desire to develop in your children. Be faithful in reading to your children and training them in God's word. In him, Bill and Beverly Burgess. So as we see here, this was a letter from the author to us readers and especially to the parents of the readers. So for those children listening to me, I just want you to know that the word of God is so important. And to the parents that might be listening as well, please be encouraged that it is so important. We are entrusted with the privilege to teach our children the word of God, which is Christ Jesus. It is the basic principles that God has given us, the instructions while we're here on earth, how to live in the way that is pleasing to our Lord. So this, let me just see the last page. Oh, okay, wait, can't finish yet. So on the last page, it says your new birthday. To accept Jesus as your savior, pray this prayer now and believe it with your heart. Write your name and the date on the line below. Jesus, I thank you for dying for me on the cross. I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead and you are living today. Please come into my heart and be my Lord forever. Amen. So here, as you see, real close, I'm putting it up, up close. On the line, it says your name. So let's do it by example. I'm going to put Miss Sylvia, 
accepts Jesus as Lord on, and it says the month, the day of the year. So we would put today's date, so the month, June, and today is 19th, and then the year 2023. So now let's do it for you guys. Take some time and put your name and put the month, the day and the year that you choose which i'm hoping that as we sat together and read this story if you haven't accepted the lord jesus christ as your personal lord and savior as your best friend i hope that you do it today and as we read this prayer all you have to do is say father god i know that jesus christ is your son that you gave so i can have life eternal so i can have forgiveness for all of my sins and through the lord jesus christ not only am i forgiven for my sins but i become your child i have the ability to go through you through christ jesus and know that you hear me know that you answer me and know that you have the best for me not only now but all the days of my life. And when you pray that believing in Jesus name and you ask the Lord Jesus into your heart as your personal Lord and Savior, then you're his and he is your best friend. And not only do we have that, not only do we have the precious son of God, but the Lord Jesus blesses us and he lives in our heart. And by the power of his Holy Spirit, we can be his soldiers. We can do the work that he calls us to do. You know why? Because we all have purpose. We all have divine destiny for his glory. So we can live and he lives in us and through us so that he can shine bright and we can declare his goodness, his love and his mercy. And then as we read on the bottom of the page, it says sharing the good news with others. I remember to share the good news about Jesus with these friends. And then it gives you three spaces and dates. You know what that means now? You can't hold the good news into yourself. No, 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 no. Now you are responsible for telling others, just like Miss Sylvia has taken time to declare God's good news and what, how much Jesus loves you and how he has good plans for you and how you are a child of God through Christ Jesus and you have the spirit of God through Christ Jesus. Now you have to go do the same. Yes, and that is an amazing adventure. And it doesn't only stop today, nor tomorrow, but it continues all the days of your life to declare the good news of Christ Jesus, the Son of the living God, who we're created by and who we live for. So real quick, let's take some time to review the lessons that we got together from reading this story. Well, the lesson is that the Lord is who? My best friend and your best friend. Yes. And now you can go all around the world, all the days of your life and declare that, that wonderful news that the Lord is your best friend. So you have nothing to fear. All you have to do is know that when you have something in your heart, talk to the Lord Jesus. And you might say, well, what does that mean? Well, Miss Sylvia is talking to you, right? That's all you have to do wherever you are, whether you're walking, whether you're sitting, whether you're laying down, getting ready for bed, you can talk to the Lord. And talking is praying. And that means you tell the Lord everything that's in your heart, what you want, what you need, your fears, your thoughts, your dreams, your plans, your hopes, your concerns, anything and everything everything and that's what's so amazing that you know sometimes we walk around and we're scared you know we want somebody to talk to and sometimes we can't find somebody but they can't really help us and sometimes we can't find nobody and we get sad about that but in all reality there's somebody who's always there waiting for you to realize that he's your best friend so you have nothing to hold back just talk it away but remember as we like to talk, we also have to love to listen because our God talks to us every single day. That's what a best friend does. They listen and they talk and our God is real. The Lord Jesus not only wants to hear you, but he wants to talk to you. He wants to tell you all the good plans he has for you. He wants to tell you how to... Um, 
how to overcome those things that bother you or that scare you or those things that you're unsure about. He wants to not only be your best friend, but your protector, your God, your provider, your healer, your deliverer. He wants to be your everything. And that's amazing. And I love that. So munchkins, I am so happy that you are here and you're learning about the beauty of the Lord being our best friend. And remember, now that the Lord is your best friend, not only do you have to tell the good news, but you have to live God's word. So I hope you have a Bible at home. And if you don't have a Bible at home and you wish you had a Bible at home and you just don't know and you ask your mom or you ask your guardian or, you know, you just ask anybody that's there and they can't get their hands on a Bible, but you would really love to have a Bible of your own. Well, put it in the subscription below and Miss Sylvia will make way to get you your own personal Bible. You know why? Because that's God's will for you. He wants you to read his word every day. And that is a gift in itself. And remember, as you read your Bible, you have to apply God's word. Well, Miss Sylvia, what does that mean? Well, let me tell you. Applying God's word means that when it says in the word, don't lie, then you have to not lie. And you might be like, well, that's hard. Well, yeah, it is really hard. But that's why we have the Holy Spirit helping us. Remember, the Holy Spirit is our best friend. He's our comforter. He's Christ living in us, through us. And through the Holy Spirit, we can do all things in Jesus' name. So all you have to do is say, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, please help me not to lie. And he will help you because that's his will for you. He wants you to live his word. So remember, not only do you read God's word, but you have to live God's word and you have to share God's word. And those are amazing privileges that the King of King and the Lord of all is entrusting us with. So once again, Munchkins, I love that we shared this learning journey and I will be back to share another learning journey with you. And I hope to hear from you guys below. So if you have any comments, if you want any prayer, if you wanna share a testimony, if you want to tell us the good news that you accepted Jesus into your heart as your personal Lord and Savior, then don't hesitate to share it with us below. And we will also pray with you on any concerns or on anything that's on your mind. Once again, I thank you Munchkins for visiting me at Reading for Purpose. And as always, I look forward to our next reading journey. Bye. John 15, 14. Ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you.